Hello and welcome to The Watches TV. Today we introduce our new saga about one special function, the calendar. Calendar watches display information related to the repetitive cycles that constitute the rhythm of our life on Earth. This rhythm comprises day and night, as well as the moon cycles as it travels around the Earth and the Earth as it travels around the Sun. Other watches display information about the motion of the stars and constellations. These belong to a category of watch called astronomical timepieces. While in the greatest scheme of things, astronomical occurrences are related, pure calendar watches are designed to be useful for the day-to-day -day life of normal people living on this planet. Thus, a calendar watch displays at least the date, but more indications can be added such as the day, the month, the leap year on perpetual calendars and also the moon phase. A calendar is a system that fixes the length and subdivisions of a year. Its role is to provide a repetitive structure that allows mankind to organize life in a community, develop commercial activities and manage traditions and harvests. Various calendars have existed and still do, around the world as every culture developed its own approach. Some developed a calendar system based on the cycle of the moon, which measures about 29.53 days. The Islamic calendar belongs to this type. Other cultures use the sun and the revolution of the earth around it as a basis. The Gregorian calendar, which is the most widespread calendar in use today, is one of them. Named for its creator, Pope Gregory XIII, it was implemented in 1582. Scientists of that time calculated that the year lasted 365 days. To succeed in this calculation, they based it on observation of the sun's return to a precise position during the spring equinox. But the Earth's rotation around its own axis and the rotation of the Earth around the Sun are not synchronized. And we know today that the average duration of a year is 365, 2422 days. Scientists call this the tropical year. And it also explains why one day is added to the month of February every four years in order to compensate for the slight increase of about one quarter of a day every year. The last main system is called lunisolar, as it takes both cycles into account. Based on lunar revolution, one month is added every three years to re-establish the balance. Most religious calendars are lunisolar, including the Hebrew, Buddhist, Bengali and Tibetan calendars. But you find them also among the ancients, such as the traditional calendars from Asia and Mesopotamia. Now that we know what the topic is about, let's see how watchmakers introduced calendar complication into the watches. And to do so, we will split the saga into four episodes in addition to this one. The next episode will focus on the basics of a calendar watch, its indications and also the limits. Then we will talk about the annual calendar. The fourth episode will be dedicated to the prestigious perpetual calendar and also secular calendar. And we will finish with the calendars, complicated or not, that we love. So stay tuned, see you soon, bye.